to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Roll call, please. Councillor Geisler? Here. Hostchild? Here. Peterson? Here. Mayor Boucher? Here. Announcements. Do any councilors have announcements? No. Councilor I just have a I just have a quick announcement. Um, apologies for not being able to be there uh, for a family issue, but I'm thankful for being able to be on screen. So apologies for not being there tonight. Thank you. I have uh, two announcements I'd like to make. Uh, one is uh, I'd like to recognize the passing of Hermantown's first police chief, Clarence Black. Uh, Clarence started as a constable with the township in the town of Herman. When we became a city, he became the chief of police and later went on to become an assistant chief with the fire department where he served for many years and then a city councilor. He was very instrumental in building this city and he's a good example to all of us of someone who gave their whole life to the community. Uh, the second one is just the general announcement regarding public discussion. We will have a moment for pub, uh, time for public discussion of items not on the agenda at the beginning of the meeting. But if there is an item on the agenda, we will have a point of public discussion for that item during the, before the item is voted on. Mr. Mulder, communications? Uh, just for your information, uh, it's a letter from Jake Perry regarding the uh, Carlson Road extension. That's just for your information. Thank you. And now we have uh, presentations. From department heads, do we have anything from department heads this evening? First item under the agenda is employee recognitions. Um, first and most important, I would like to recognize Bill Marsolik's retirement from the Hermantown Police Department. Bill has given most of his adult life to our community and we all appreciate that. He's been a great example of service to the community and uh, done a lot for us. Uh, Mr. Mulder, we have a plaque to give Bill. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we're going to do that now. I'll be the official picture taker. Okay. Don't I need to be doing it? We all need to do it. We should have oh, okay. He's got it. Yeah. Oh, For a little closure, this is the actual suit I wore when I interviewed him on TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Looking good. <laughs> and I'd like to thank the California administration for the solid support of the Stone Police Department and the Hunter Police Department. It is noted and we appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go. Bill, you're going to have to post a photo of you then and now in your suit <laughs> <laughs> or frame it. Send it to me, Bill. I'll take care of it. <laughs> I, I do remember the interview. He was the only one that showed up in a suit. <laughs> I was impressed. I did. Somebody got a picture? Yeah, John did. In that suit. In that suit. It was a little more snug then. I think it's grown out in the closet over the years. But. Styles never change, do they? <laughs> um, next, we have other uh, employee recognitions for five years of service. I'd like to thank Eric Johnson, Mary Meldy, who's not here, and Paul Sense, who's not here. 10 years, Aaron Bianskis, and Jim Crace. Thanks, Jim. And 15 years of service, uh, someone who couldn't be here also, Lisa Volk who's given also a lot to the community. I think she's got a little left to give. Uh, presentations, Mr. Mulder, um, or uh, Kevin Orm, we had that at pre-agenda. Right. Now we have public discussion. 
This is a time for individuals to address the council about items not on the agenda. Is there anyone that wishes to speak to the council at this time? If so, please step forward to the podium and state your na name and address for the record. Is there anyone present in chambers that wishes to speak to the council? Is there anyone present at the online meeting that wishes to speak to the council? If so, state your name and address for the record. With no public discussion, we will move on to the consent agenda. Do we have a motion for the consent agenda? Motion to approve. Second. second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Geisler. Roll call, please. Councilor Hoschild. Aye. Peterson? Aye. Geisler? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Thank you. Ordinances. We have a second reading for ordinance 2021-05, an ordinance amending chapter nine, utilities and services of the Hermantown City Code. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Councilor Geisler, second by Councilor Peterson, Mr. Mulder. This is just an update of um, the chapter nine relative to the utilities, um, um, Kevin Orm and uh, Johnson uh, went through that and looked at a number of changes just to kind of update, update that code. Any questions from council? Any questions or com comments from Councillor Geis or Councillor Hoschild? None from me, thanks. Thank you. This is a time for public input. Is there any public input on ordinance 2021-05, either in chambers or online? If so, state your name and address for the record. Any public input on an ordinance amending chapter nine utilities and services? Roll call, please. Councilor Peterson? Aye. Geisler? Aye. Hoschild? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Ordinance 2021-06, an ordinance amending section 230.02 .02, utility commission of the Hermantown city code. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Hoschild. Mr. Mulder. This is just an ordinance updating the duties of the Utility Commission. Thank you. Any questions or comments from Council? None in chambers. Councilor Hoschild? No questions. Thank you. Is there any public input on ordinance 2021? Dash zero six. If anyone would like to speak about ordinance 2021-06, please state your name and address for the record. Roll call, please. Councillor Geisler? Aye. Hostchild? Aye. Peterson? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Next is ordinance 2021-07. Since this is a first reading, there will be no public input. An ordinance amending section 820 of the Hermantown City Code by amending the city of Hermantown snowmobile and ATV map. Um, we'll move on then to resolutions. Resolution 2021-95. Resolution to establish a no parking zone along a section of Hermantown Road in the city of Hermantown. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Geisler. Mr. Mulder, should we have the Chief of Police address this? Sure. Mr. Grace. Thank you, would do is um, allow us to mark uh, the westbound lanes uh, of uh, Hermantown Road between Getchell Road and Levesque Road. Um, with the uh, business that's located in that section, we just feel that it um, would make that roadway safer. It's a, 
it's a curvy roadway in that area with some hills as well. And with the, the amount of activity that they have um, in that area, we think that uh, restricting that side of the, um, the road would make it safer. The businesses in support of that as well. Um, so I think this is probably the best option to make that, that roadway safer for both pedestrians and the motoring public. Thank you. Any questions or comments from the city council? Do we know, oops, I'm sorry. Do we know how long it'll take for those signs to be placed? I you know would not, public not want to speak for Paul, but yeah, I can't really Okay, say. that's okay. I don't want to give unreal, unrealistic expectations. And I think we should just um, plan to also socialize that just to make sure it's, you know, very well known that that's now a change and no parking. And it just should be noted that that's been temporary. Yeah. 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 But I, now that it's going to be permanent. Thank you. Any other questions or concerns? Mm -mm. Now is the time for public input. Is there any public comment on resolution 2021 95? If there's any public comment on 2021-95, please state your name and address for the record. Roll call, please. Councilor Hoschild? Aye. Peterson? Aye. Geisler? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Resolution 2021-96, resolution authorizing and directing the mayor and city clerk to execute and deliver a development agreement with JLG Enterprises of Hermantown LLP for Peyton Acres Phase 1B. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Hauschild. Mr. Mulder, would you like Mr. Johnson to go over this? Yes, please. Eric, would you explain this? Great, thank you very much. Uh, this development agreement tonight is an association with the final plat that the council uh, had approved back on August 2nd uh, at our previous meeting. What this development agreement does is it outlines the uh, requirements and completions of public and private uh, improvements associated with the Peyton Acres Phase 1B. A particular note, uh, this development agreement does outline the maintenance and future ownership of the stormwater, uh, not only the pond, but also the system associated with that at a future date. Uh, the work is completed by the, by the, the applicant, the developer, uh, city reviews that, and upon its acceptance and the acceptance by the city council, the uh, city of Hermantown would did, then take owner over the ownership and maintenance of that pond. Thank you. Any questions or comments from council? Um, I think just for me, I know we've got the developer in. I just want to compliment you. I think that that development is probably one of my favorites in the city. So job very well done. I'm excited to see the home start going up in the development. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other comments from council? Is there any public input on resolution 2021-96? If anyone wishes to speak to 2021-96, please state your name and address for the record. Roll call, please. Councilor Peterson? Aye. Geisler? Aye. Hostchild? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Resolution 2021-97. Resolution authorizing and directing the mayor and city clerk to execute and deliver a first agreement to development, a first amendment to development agreement with Shane Stokey. Motion to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Motion by Councilor Geisler, second by Councilor Peterson. Mr. Mulder, should Mr. Johnson yes. take this one? Ms. Eric? Great, thank you again. Uh, similar to the development agreement we just spoke about, this first amendment uh, with Shane Stokey for his subdivision of the nine lots uh, just west of Midway Road. This has to do with the uh, eventual ownership and maintenance of the stormwater system associated with it. Now, in this case, this is, a, um, this is what we call a rural section. There'll be ditches in the right-of-way area. 
And then there'll also be two pond areas uh, associated at the uh, both the south and the north end of the development that once again, uh, developed and built by the developer, eventually turned over to the city upon its completion. Thank you. Any questions or comments from council? Is there any public input on resolution 2021-97? If anyone from the public wishes to speak to this motion, please state your name and address for the record. Roll call, please. Councilor Geisler. Aye. Hostchild. Aye. Peterson. Aye. Mayor Boucher. Aye. Resolution 2021-98, resolution authorizing a summary of an ordinance amending chapter nine, Utilities and services of the Hermantown City Code. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Councilor Geisler, second by Councilor Hostchild. Mr. Mulder. This is uh, authorizing the publication of just a summary of the ordinance 202105. It's fairly lengthy, so um, we're just going to publish a, a summary of it. Thank you. Any questions or comments from Council? Is there any public input on 2021-98? If anyone from the public wishes to co comment on this resolution, please state your name and address for the record. Roll call, please. Councilor Hostchild? Aye. Peterson? Aye. Geisler? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Resolution 2021-99, resolution authorizing and directing the mayor and city clerk to consent to the appraisal services agreement for appraisal services for the Ugstead Road Improvement Project between F.I. Salter Company Incorporated and Overham Law, PLLC. So moved. I'll make the motion to approve this with a maximum contract amount of $9,500. Second. Thank you. Motion by Councillor Geisler, second by Councillor Peterson to a, a maximum contract price. Mr. Mulder? Um, the city needs to acquire some right of way along Ugstead Road as part of the project that is planned for 2022. Um, because it's a federal project, we have to go through a number of uh, procedures in order to, do, to get that right away. Um, so what we'd like to do is hire um, F.I. Salter and have them work actually for the city attorney. And then we'll get those appraisals um, and go through that process. And that, sh that should shorten the process up a little bit. Thank you. Any questions or comments from council? Mm -hmm. Is there any public input on this resolution 2021-99? any public input on this resolution? Roll call, please. Councillor Peterson? Aye. Geisler? Aye. Hostchild? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Resolution 2021-100, resolution declaring a permanent 25-foot setback area. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second, sorry. Motion by Councillor Peterson, second by Councillor Hostchild. Mr. Mulder. So Cirrus uh, Design is looking um, to expand uh, one of their buildings in the city of Duluth, um, but because they need so much uh, space in between buildings, um, they don't have room on their facility to do that. So we're um, proposing that we declare a 25 foot setback area so that that would allow them to be able to expand their building in Duluth. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from council? I, um, I'm very grateful to the staff for their work on this so that we are able to give this opportunity to Cirrus to have that expansion. We are incredibly grateful for your organization and what it means to this community and all the surrounding communities and the economic impact that, that it has. So thank you for your commitment uh, and continued growth. In the, in the community. We appreciate it. 
And I'd just like to add that the architectural firm that I work for uh, is working on the project with Cirrus on the building expansion, and therefore I will be abstaining from this vote. Thank you, Councillor Geisler. Councillor Hostel, any comments? Wait, Not one, from me. Yes, Councillor Hostel, do you have anything? Is there any member? Sorry, that none from me. Just to speak to this. If so, please step forward and state your name and address for the record. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else that wishes to comment on this resolution? If so, state your name and address for the record. Is there any other public comment on resolution 2021-100? Roll call, please. Councilor Hostchild. Aye. Peterson. Aye. Mayor Boucher. Aye. I have to ask. And Councilor Geisler. Abstain. Okay. Thank you. And I guess now we need a motion to recess, unless everybody wants to stay. That I can do. Motion to recess. Second. Motion by Councilor Geisler, second by Councilor Peterson. All in favor say aye. 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 Nay? You say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can vote on that. You have a conference. That's right. <laughs>